everyone welcome back and this is Naveen from UA Brains. So in this video let's make a real-time example on JavaScript promise. Okay so let's see here. Um, so for that I need a separate folder structure. So I'll just uh, do one thing promise over. I'll just copy the first folder. I'll just paste it. Let's make it as 35. 35 yeah. Okay, 35. 35 underscore uh, real promises. Okay, uh, here let's take real promise. Also, real promise. Okay, uh, not real promise and fake promise. Real means real time example. Okay, um, let me close that and uh, open HTML in the browser yeah uh, same example actually what we have done for the callback right so we have a table to display some data so there we achieve the program using uh, uh, callbacks so now let's let's make the same kind of example in a promise concept see here um, let's take a table and T head and table row TH star 3 tab same uh, employee ID and then employee name okay employee ID employee name and then employee age let's make T body so let's make an ID table body and let's make something border border um, 2 okay uh, you want you can write some style so table width some 80 percent and margin some 50 pixels top and bottom and left and right is auto let's check yeah you got this okay uh, so done HTML part is done back to JavaScript here I'll take let employees is equal to one array same like previous id is one and name is john and age is age is uh, 40 okay so same like this i need uh, another id another one so id two and uh, name let's take Rajan and uh, age is 25 okay uh, I have two objects so let's make create employee so let's create employee is equal to one function so if you can recollect uh, what we have done in the callbacks uh, in the callbacks we had actually like this we had actually made a callback and then uh, we put a set timeout okay I don't want to use callback I want to use promise so now my here this one it returns a new promise new promise okay so this will be having two things one is resolve and reject yeah here I want to make it for time constraint I'll make set timeout and uh, here 2000 milliseconds. So here I do is uh, employees dot push. You have to pass the employee object. So that I'm gonna push it to the employees array. Okay. So that that's uh, the concept. And then I'll make like this. Uh, once it is done successfully let is done okay is equal to true I'm assuming that it's done successfully if it is done successfully I write like this if is done successfully I call resolve resolve function just like that and else I'll call reject I'll say reject and stating that um, 
uh, something went wrong okay let's take a uh, employee creation is failed okay so I just made this so create employee is a function it takes an employee it returns actually a promise what it does is uh, it just push to the employees I assume that uh, it is uh, it is giving I mean it just updating or it just inserting a record into employees database table okay and if it is done call resolve otherwise rejection this is create employee and let's make get uh, employee um, what you do is let's get employee is equal to another function so this you know right uh, simple uh, set timeout let me copy the same I'll paste it here because why 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 we had right again we, we have already discussed this function so we made it uh, fine get employee logic so now let me call get employee just for time being okay if I call get employee what happens after some time you got two records correct but you want to keep it center uh, small change table space td uh, text align center actually you can put right for table only okay uh, so I just make a direct call to the get employee so anyway two employees are there you get only two records okay so now I removed it so nothing comes over there now the plan is I have to call create employee after that I have to call get employee so create employees returns a promise if this is successfully finished then call get employee so when this successfully finish when you call dot then okay so how to call is so create employee you have to provide the employee let's take a, a id 3 and a name name is wilson comma H is some 45 uh, dot then dot catch like this uh, so dot then will have one callback and dot catch also we have a callback but dot then callback nothing we are passing so it's empty but for catch we are passing something so I'll gonna get the error let's do a console dot error of error okay so create employee dot then if it is successfully created then I'm gonna call get employee or get employees right so it's a get employees okay so once it is successfully finished then I'm gonna call get employees so this is actually a promise so let's check once now if I refresh you should get three employees yes so you got three employees it means it is get called after successfully is done next uh, uh, if you even check the console uh, as of now no error because it's successfully done uh, now what I do is um, I just make as false so is done is false if false we're gonna call the reject reject means you're gonna get the catch the error suppose uh, something went wrong in this process so what happens you get simply the message employee creation is failed okay that's a catch so if I make it true then you get all the list of employees okay so this is a, a realistic example on JavaScript promises okay so that's it enough for this video and please subscribe to my channel and we'll meet in the next video thank you